Hello, lovelies. How are you? How is your mind doing? You know, this control center that determines what you see, how you interpret it, what you feel, and then how you react, respond in the world. So how's your mind doing? I did a film last week about bringing that clarity to all the areas of your life, of how you'd like it to be and where it is now and a few little action points that could help take you towards your life looking the way you'd love it to look and feel and be. So I've had um, a few conversations already today with um, a couple of clients where they have spoken about I can't shake this thought off or I've just got this feeling of or my mind keeps going back to and I just thought it might be helpful to share with you or even just start off by asking have you noticed is your mind going to a dominant thought the chances are it is but what is that dominant thought. When I say dominant, I mean that kind of reoccurring thought or when you think your mind is switched off, it, that's where it rests, it rests on that particular thought. And so if you've noticed that it's doing that, and if you haven't, you might notice now that I've mentioned it, what is that thought? Does that thought make you feel strong, powerful, empowered, dynamic, connected, hopeful, positive, that you can shape the future that you want? Or does the thought make you feel like you're under a cloud, that you are disempowered, that you feel a sense of uncertainty, perhaps even fear, and maybe even hopelessness, that your life is in somebody else's hands, and therefore you are feeling stuck. So we have, we will always have thoughts. And I can't remember who said it, but there is somebody that has said, we will always have thoughts and they only become dangerous when we believe them. And I'm guessing that's the ones that are unhelpful. So we'll always have thoughts. But what we have to ask ourselves, are the thoughts I'm having smoothing the way to the future I want or getting in the way to the future I want? Or even... Let's not even look too far or even are the thoughts I'm having supporting me being in my power, my empowerment, my sense of peace and calm and flow right now or the thoughts that I'm having taking me away from feeling empowered, strong, motivated, positive, hopeful and love. Are the thoughts I'm having getting in the way of me experiencing a sense of connection? To myself. So in, a, to, in order to change thoughts that are not working for us, we, we first have to be aware that we're having them. If they're not in awareness, then they will continue to be white noise that navigate us through our actions, behaviours, responses, reactions. So what do you do when you're aware that you have a dominant thought that's perhaps getting in the way of you feeling that you are empowered in your life, that you are that you feel connected to your heart and your purpose and the people around you. Well, let's just do one thing that you do today is look at that thought and ask yourself, is that thought, and if you even write it down, is that true? So just first of all, ask yourself, is it true? And if I believe this thought, how does it benefit me? If I believe this thought, how does it keep me safe? Then the next thing is, if I believe this thought wasn't true, how would it free me? If this thought wasn't true, what would I believe was possible for my life? Okay, lovelies. So today's exercise is just one of awareness about your thoughts. 
what is the dominant one that's most navigating you and then just doing your own audit on is it true is it helpful or is it unhelpful is it true or is it false what happens if i what does it keep me safe from and what disbelieving it will free me up for all right, lovelies, if, if you want to get in touch, have a chat with me about it, just drop me an email and we can schedule all the time. But until we see each other again, lots of love and have a great day. Mm.